Angular or React. I want to show you which one of these is better for you and at the end tell my opinion for you. There are many front-end frameworks out there, but today we'll focus on two of the most popular ones, React and Angular. Let's start with React. React is a library created by Facebook in 2013. It is based on the concept of components, which are reusable pieces of UI that can have their own state and logic. React uses a virtual DOM, which is a representation of the real DOM in memory. This allows React to update only the parts of the UI that have changed, instead of re-rendering the whole page. React also supports JSX, which is a syntax extension that allows us to write HTML-like code in JavaScript. Some of the pros of React, it is fast and efficient. Thanks to the virtual DOM and other optimization techniques, it is easy to learn and use as it has a simple and declarative syntax. It has a large and active community, which means there are many resources, tutorials, libraries, and tools available for React developers. It is flexible and scalable, as it can be used for any kind of web app, from simple to complex. Some of the cons of React, it is not a complete framework, but a library. This means that we have to use other libraries or tools for features such as routing, state management, testing, etc. This can make our project more complex and increase the learning curve. It has some drawbacks with the CO's search engine optimization, as it renders the UI on the client side by default. This can make it harder for search engines to crawl and index our web pages. No, God, please, no! Next, let's talk about Angular. Angular is a framework created by Google in 2016. It is a complete rewrite of Angular, just also known as Angular 1, which was released in 2010. Angular uses TypeScript as its main language, which is a superset of JavaScript that adds static typing and other features. Angular also uses components as the building blocks of UI, but unlike React or Vue, it uses decorators to add metadata to components. Angular also uses a different approach than virtual DOM or reactivity, change detection. Change detection means that Angular checks the changes in data and updates the UI accordingly. Some of the pros of Angular is powerful and comprehensive as it provides everything we need to create complex web apps such as routing, state management, testing, and etc. It is consistent and structured as it follows a clear and modular architecture and enforces best practices and conventions. It has a large and influential community which means there are many resources, tutorials, libraries, and tools available for Angular developers. It is backed by Google, which means it has a strong support and credibility. Some of the cons of Angular, and it's heavy and complex, so it has a large size and a cheap learning curve. It is rigid and opinionated, as it imposes a specific way of doing things and limits our choices and flexibility. It has a high pace of development, which means that new features and updates are released frequently this can make it hard to keep up with the latest changes and best practices. It has some performance issues as it runs more small code and checks more data than React or Vue. So, which front-end framework should you choose in 2024? It depends, it depends on your personal preference, your project requirements, your team skills, your budget, your timeline, and many other factors. There's no one-size-fits-all solution when it comes to front-end frameworks. Each framework has its own strengths and weaknesses, its own advantages and disadvantages, its own pros and cons. The best way to choose a framework is to try them out yourself. Learn from your experience and see what works best for you. I hope this video has given you some insights into the differences and similarities between React and Angular. And as I had promised, I was supposed to say my opinion too. In my opinion, React is simpler and better to start learning and also answers all your needs. And only if you are very fond of proper programming, choose Angular.